It's dangerous to be clear. This is dangerous. This is no, you know, walk in the park here. You know, when you're pushing the frontier, it's not a sure thing. You know, it's, it's not like just taking an air flight somewhere. There's some chance that something could go wrong. SpaceX revealing that Japanese billionaire Yusako Mizawa will be the first tourist in space set to fly around the moon on the company's next generation rocket known as the Big Falcon rocket. The trip is expected to launch in 2023. To date, only 24 humans have traveled to the moon. The last one made the journey in 1972 at the end of the Apollo program. Let's take it up with theoretical physicist and author of The Future of Humanity, Dr. Michal Coco, joining us over the phone. Doctor, I got to tell you first, I, I was looking at some of your videos today. I'm not sure I'm smart enough to do this interview, but uh, I'm excited to have you on. I'm excited to have you on the show. And I want to ask you about that Apollo program. It seemed that in 1972, when President Nixon canceled the Apollo program and went to the shuttle program, that we lost our fascination and we lost the desire to explore deep space. Was that a mistake by the president in the 70s to do that? Yeah, I think so. You know, when I was a kid, the headlines were dominated by astronauts. Then NASA got stale. It became the agency to nowhere. The thrill was gone. But now the thrill is coming back. This time it's billionaires who are setting the pace. Uh, we have people like Elon Musk of Tesla Motors, Jeff Bezos of Amazon, Richard Branson of Virgin Atlantic, three billionaires that are now taking the mantle away from NASA, and they want to go back into outer space. The thrill is coming back. The tourism space flight itself that goes around the moon, they're not going to land on the moon, they're actually going to orbit around the moon. He's, uh, the Japanese billionaire is taking himself and six of his artist friends. Uh, people who have been to the moon have had deep, most of them, religious experiences uh, having been there. Tell me about this flight. Yes. Uh, first of all, it's a new rocket, and the media, I think, missed the big story. The BFR is really a Mars rocket. You know, Elon Musk already has the Falcon Heavy. The Falcon Heavy is a moon rocket capable of, of orbiting the moon, but he wants to go even beyond the Falcon Heavy. The BFR is a prototype of a Mars mission because Elon Musk has a dream, and that dream and vision is to become a multi-planet species. So he's way beyond simply, quote, beating the Russians in 1960s, and he's way beyond simply going back to the moon. Doctor, President Trump is planning to create a U.S. Space Force as a separate military arm. The Air Force now estimating it would cost nearly $13 billion in its first five years and will also require congressional action. This is strategic competition with both Russia and China. And I want to ask you specifically about Russia. Russia has developed this weapon apparently called the hyperdrive, which is something the United States has. They said they're going to have this in 2020. Does this put them ahead of us in the space race? Well, yes, but it's of marginal importance. The hypersonic drive, for example, is a weapon that on reentry can maneuver. Usually an ICBM, when it comes back into the atmosphere, has limited maneuverability and therefore could be a sitting duck for a Star Wars system. That's why the Russians want to make um, hyperdrive devices which can maneuver, maneuver in space, and so they can evade a Star Wars system. Now, it turns out that the United States tested its own version two years ago, but they were very unstable. It is very difficult to control an object coming in at several times the speed of sound and have it evade a Star Wars system. But, you know, because the Russians have announced that they're working on it, we, too, are now working on it. And so, yes, the Chinese are also now working on these weapons as well. Doctor, thank you very much. This is absolutely fascinating stuff. Appreciate you calling in. Okay.